Hi everyone and welcome back to our last part of our tutorial. This episode is very special because we will finish our entire app by implementing the sending notification feature. First of all, please don't forget to add the Firebase messaging dependency in your build Gradle file. Now, if you remember from the video in which we have talked about the shopping list sharing, we said that for displaying purposes, adding maps inside the document was not an option. But to keep only track of user, it's a good solution. We could create a new collection named Shared Shopping List and add there all the shared lists. But for the simplicity, we only use this approach. So, Let's go in our shopping list activity and in the share shopping list method, let's add an unsuccess listener. And inside the unsuccess method, let's add two maps. First, let's create a user's map, which is equal to new hash map. Let's copy this line and paste it over here and rename this with map. Let's add in this map the user email as well as the friend email. Now let's put this map in our users map. Let's get our root ref and call collection and pass shopping list. Let's call document and pass our user email. Let's call again collection and pass user shopping list. Let's call again document and pass our shopping list ID. And in the end, just simply call update and pass our users map. Let's copy this line and paste it over here. And let's change this user email with friend email. This means that this map is copied in the database to both user. When we are using duplicating data, then you need to make the same operation in both places. Now, we need to know how many users are a part of a single shopping list. And for that, let's open our product view holder class and, and delete this comment. And for that, let's copy this line of code and paste it over here. Let's use a get call and add on complete listener. Let's put the semicolon and inside the incomplete method, let's create a map. Call it simply map, which is equal task dot get result and use a get call and pass users as an argument. Let's also create a cast because we have an error here. Now we need to create a new model class. Let's create new Java class and call it notification model. Let's clean this up. Let's implement the constructor. Let's also define our fields, which is private string. And the first one will be notification message. And the second one will be sender user email. Let's implement now the constructor with two arguments and also the getters. And that's it with our model class. Now we'll need the username. And for that, let's add it over here. It will be string username. Let's get it first. See, we have an error. username and let's get it from our Google sign in account object get display name and now let's pass the string as an argument here now 
let's create our notification message. String equals to username plus just bot plus product name from shopping list name list. Now we can create an object of notification model class which is equal to notification model and pass our notification message as an argument and the user email. Now let's iterate through our map for map entry and we have string and object entry map entry set. Let's get the st a string named shared user email which is equal entry get key. Now we need to create an if statement. If shared user email isn't equal to our user email we do this because we don't want to send notification to ourselves. Then we need to get our root ref and call collection and pass notification. Now let's call document and pass our shared user, shared user email as an argument. Let's call again collection and pass our user notification string. Let's call again document with no argument and in the end just simply call set and pass our notification model object as an argument. Now to actually send the notification we need to create a Node.js function. I'm not gonna code this function for you but I will explain what is going on here. I have shared this code in the description below. Basically, we have a function named send notification. The basic idea is that we need to create a listener that listens to a location from our Firestore database and every time a new document is added, it will send a notification to all users that are present within a shopping list. The location in our, our case is notification collection user email document user notification collections and notification id document then we can get the user email and notification id constants then we can create a promise and get other three constants as you can see i named them from username to username and the token id then we can create the body of our notification which contains three elements, the title, the body, and the icon, which is in our case the default one. And in the end, after the notification has been sent, we log a message to the console and we say notification sent. And that's it with our Node.js function. Now let's see if it works in our emulators by doing the whole process again from zero. I have my emulators running. Let's sign in on both of them. Let's create a shopping list, name grocery. Let's add a product, let's say milk. And let's share now the shopping list to app second user at gmail.com. Let's close this app and let's buy now the milk. And as you can see, the notification is received. And it worked. 
but if you see guys there is a section that I haven't talked much about it is the history section I intended to add in this history all the shoppings that are made in a shopping list to see when somebody has bought something what product has bought and at what hour but this is the easiest part of our app so I let you guys finish it in the end I want to say that I have added in the description below a link of the project from github so this is how you can create an android app in less than three hours and as you can see it's a real world example of an android application if there are things that you didn't understand come back and watch that video again and also feel free to add as many comments as you want if you have any requests about what kind of tutorials I should make in the future, let me know in the comment section below as well. So be sure to check my other videos, like and share and don't forget to subscribe. So take care of you guys and see you in the next tutorial.